Hey everyone, this is not going to be a full episode. This is a um, special event. The electric motor and reduction gear have arrived. So, so this is going to be the unboxing of our Thunderstruck motors. Um, 10 kilowatt electric sailboat motor replacement kit and um, a reduction gear. So here we go. All right, box number one of two. Let's see what we got in this one. Presents for me, from me, but for me. Oh, that's some thick tape they put on there. Each of these boxes is about 50 pounds or so. What do we got here? All right, we got a sticker, I guess. Electric drive system by Thunderstruck Motors. That's pretty cool, I like that. All right, we've got a basic wiring diagram here. Easy peasy. Let's see here. This discusses our electric sailboat kit and what we have in it. We have a uh, Motenergy motor, Curtis controller, Tyco contactor, three black motor cables, one red contactor cable, wiring harness with key switch and throttle, black and red cable boots, single use thermal grease. And it's got a parts checklist, uh, some installation instructions, cool stuff, cool stuff. All right, let's set that aside. Ooh, all right. So we've got some of our cables mentioned there. Let's see, let's put those right there. All right, trying to be careful on how I pull this stuff out of here. Let's see here, this looks like our throttle, our, our wigwag. Yep, there we go. So that's gonna be forward and reverse. And mount that to the uh, Steering column I already have on the boat. Let's see, this is our contactor. Uh, I'm not going to take this out of the, the protective cardboard here. I'm going to leave that in case, but that's our contactor. Alright, this looks like, let's see, wiring harnesses. So, you know, let's see here, we've got um, our readout, it's going to give us our voltage levels. We've got our wiring harnesses. Uh, what is this? To be honest with you, I'm not sure what that is. We'll figure that out in a second. Is that my key switch? It is. Huh, it's just push button, key switch. Interesting. Then we've got our wire boots, like this. Ah, uh, there we go. That's the other part of the key switch. Okay. Key switch. I don't know if you can really make it out through there. All right, so keep all that stuff together. All right, this looks to be our heat sink. I'll let you look through there. I'm also going to keep this in the uh, protective cardboard, but all right. Let's see. Up. A wee package of bolts and washers. Figure that one out. Alright, let's see here. This looks to be Yeah, this is our, our control, our controller unit. This is gonna be what all of the wires from that harness go into and um yeah, it's gonna make everything function together and be happy. All right, now this one ought to be the bread and butter, the motor itself. All right, let's set that back here. Um, actually, let's save that one for a second because that one is kind of the heart of the operation. This ought to be the reduction gear. A 
again, I love how heavy the taping is on here. When you spend that kind of money, you're, you're uh, pleased to see that they're not cutting corners. <laughs> Getting my stuff to me in one piece. Inside of here, we've got a couple of uh, metal brackets we're going to use to brace up the plate. Alright, we've got our belt for it, more mounting hardware. Let's see here. Alright, this looks to be our, our um, coupling device. We're going to Use this to um, actually connect up to the shaft in the boat. Oh, this is exciting. All right, what do we got here? Some more documentation. Yep, about the gear reduction. See, this is basically what we're looking at when it's all put together. Uh, where is this? Okay, it's insulation removal of bushings. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, and this is just for the, the owner's manual for it all. All right, cool, cool. I like it, I like it. Put that with the other paperwork. All right, ooh, there we go. That's the main coupler. This is the, what's gonna actually do the grabbing. Um, this is gonna connect the shaft from this reduction gear to the shaft in the boat. So this is actually the, the muscle of that connection. And then, here we go. Oh, I love how heavy this is. It gives me confidence. All right, so that. All right, let's see, can I set it there and you see it? Yeah, all right. So our motor is gonna mount right here. Uh, shaft pointing out through here. We're gonna mount a gear onto that, which is then gonna have this belt going around here, around the gear from the motor, and that's gonna give us our two to one reduction. Ugh. And let's see here, what's in here? Here we go, got some more um, angle iron for bracing. All right, so that is that. Let's get to the heart of the new system. Where'd my knife go? There we go. from an AC, I can tell you that much. Ooh, that is, that is some heavy duty stuff. All right. <laughs> so excited. Okay, so we got the reduction gear and its associated components. That bad mamma jamma right there, 10 kilowatt motor. Runs on 48 volt, by the way. And then our associated bits and bobs. All right, so that was the unboxing of my new 10 kilowatt uh, electric motor conversion kit from Thunderstruck Motors. Um, just wanna say I'm in no way being paid by them or anything like that. It's not a you know paid endorsement. Um, simply telling you guys what I'm doing and where I got it from, and that's about it. Um, went with them because I had good customer service experience and pretty much answered everything and 
very short order and very simple terms. Ordering process was simple. Um, and there are a good handful of videos out there of other folks who have installed these motor kits in their sailboats. So looking forward to going on with that. I'm very confident I have the ability to get this done correctly. Only roadblock right now is still pulling that old diesel motor out. Um, thought again it was going to happen this week, but today it's Friday, so we'll see. Um, anyways, look forward in the next week or two to another full episode. I'm um, going to probably redo the house electrics first and get that all cleaned up and then get that motor out and get this one in. So see you out there. Thanks for watching, y'all.